Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss construction of venturi meter. How it works. Then we will see venturi meter equation. Now first let's see construction of venturi meter. So a venturi meter is a flow meter device in which pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy. It is used for measuring the rate of flow through pipes at that instant. Venturi meter is a pipe where two funnels are joined at their smallest ends. So the venturi meter consists of three parts. The first one is the convergent inlet cone section. The area of this section is decreasing. Then the second part is the uniform diameter throat section whose area is constant. And the third part is the divergent outlet cone section. The area of this section is increasing. So from the figure, we can see. The first small convergent inlet cone section leads to a throat section. And then through a long discharge cone. Which is also called a divergent outlet cone. Then the high pressure tap is located at the start of the inlet section. That is at the convergent section. And the low pressure tap is located in the middle of the throat. Are connected to the manometer or differential transmitter. So. As fluid enters the inlet convergent cone. It smoothly converges as the area of this section is decreasing. And due to this fluid velocity increases and pressure decreases. Then in the uniform throat section. Due to constant area there is no change in fluid velocity. And hence static pressure also does not change. Hence throat provides the point for minimum pressure measurement. Then in the divergent section flow smoothly diverges. As the area of this section is increasing. And due to this the fluid velocity is increased and hence its pressure decreased. Then by using manometer. The pressure drop in this cone is used to measure the fluid flow rate. Now as we know in the discharge cone. The velocity is decreased and the original pressure largely recovered. Hence the angle of the discharge cone is made small between 5 degree and 15 degree. To prevent boundary layer separation and to minimize friction. Since there is no separation in a contracting cross section. The convergent cone can be made shorter than the divergent cone. Now. Venturi tube is most preferred for flow measurement of slurries and liquid containing solid. Provided the pressure tap is protected from plugging. Well since the flow area smoothly changes. The pressure recovery of Venturi is better than orifice. Now let's derive the Venturi meter equations. As we know. Venturi meter works on Bernoulli's principle. As we know Bernoulli's principle gives the relation between. Pressure. Kinetic energy. And gravitational potential energy of a fluid. So Bernoulli's equation can be written as at section 1 and section 2, we get where P1 and P2 is the pressure inside the pipe at sections 1 and 2. Rho is the density of the fluid. G is gravitational constant. Version 1 and V2 is the velocity at sections 1 and 2. Z1 and Z2 is the elevation at sections 1 and 2. A is cross-sectional area of the pipe. D is the diameter of the pipe. Now as the pipe is horizontal. Z1 is equal to Z2. Hence we get. But as we know. H. That is the difference of pressure heads at sections 1 and 2 can be written as. Hence equation 2 becomes. Now from the continuity equation at sections 1 and 2 we get. E1 V1 is equal to E2 V2. So from this we can calculate V1 as. So after putting value of V1 in equation 3 we get. So after solving it and rearranging the terms we get. From this equation we can calculate V2 as. So using equation 4 we can calculate velocity V2 at section 2. Now let's calculate theoretical discharge that is Q. So we know that Q is equal to. So after putting the value of V2 in the above equation we get. This equation gives the theoretical discharge of Venturi meter. 
but in general actual discharge is always less than theoretical discharge. Hence we introduced coefficient of discharge to get actual discharge value. So the coefficient of discharge for the venturimeter that is CD is defined as the ratio of the actual flow rate through the venturi meter tube to the theoretical flow rate. So the venturi meter discharge coefficient is given by as Q actual will always be less than Q theoretical due to frictional losses. Hence the value of CD is always less than 1. Hence the equation becomes Q actual is equal to Hence this equation gives the actual flow rate through the throat of the venturi meter. Let K be flow coefficient such that K is equal to where beta is equal to throat diameter divided by pipe diameter. Hence equation 6 can be written as Q actual is equal to K A 2 into square root of 2 G H. Now, let rho M be the density of manometric liquid and rho T M be the density of test liquid and H be the manometer height difference. Hence the final equation of discharge from venturimeter is That's all about Venturi meter. So keep watching. In the next video, we will discuss another topic. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Chemical Idda.